<sighs> All right, good evening everybody. Welcome back to another upload of It's a Dire Thing. Rob here. No, this is not about bikes. Bear in mind, give me a second, guys. I mean, we're still in the middle of winter here, so bike stuff will be coming soon. That will be coming up actually starting within two weeks from now. Uh, we have uh, the Toronto International Motorcycle Show. Um, that's coming up on the what is it the 19 20 21 or 21 22 23 of february so that's pretty much the third last weekend of february um so i'll definitely be at the the bike show uh, hanging around and checking out some super new cool products In the meantime, uh, what do we do during the winter here is basically get out and we snowboard and ski and so on and so forth. Um, there's nothing worse feeling uh, than trying to decide as to what new products that you want to get into, what kind of products you want to purchase uh, with very limited or minimal information out there. So this is what this video is about. It is all about the K2 Cinch TS series bindings. Um, this is the series 2019 2020 uh, so it is their latest greatest models that they have now announced out there so uh, kind of give you a real fast short story as to what's going on um, I've been running the ride bindings model EX back from 2010 um, they were the all aluminum style binding uh, absolutely super rock solid super yeah like indestructible style binding um, but it's always been a little bit of a complication to kind of get your boot in and out uh, especially when uh, you, you know you want to get going right away off of the uh, chair lifts so um, solid bindings absolutely fantastic uh, extreme feedback on them so sometimes you know when you want to just do kind of like an all mountain riding and not powder riding and stuff like that uh, you tend to get a lot of feedback up through your legs and up through your feet and then that kind of gets uh, creates some fatigue and some discomfort whereas the cinch bindings from k2 uh, basically uh, they have concentrated uh, in regards to comfort uh, ease of use and uh, yeah basically durability and, and and just yeah functionality of the binding so um, like I said it's very there was very minimal information out there even though that these bindings uh, have been in the market and in existence now for the at least 10 years um, there's like always been very minimal information that kind of gives you a little preview of show and stuff like that but nobody ever really talks about it other than you know we've introduced the new binding but that's all they say um, as being a buyer such as myself and a customer like you guys, um, I, I've been searching and searching and trying to get some more information as to the function and, and, and features behind this binding and all basically which I kind of got back uh, were just um, some unpleasant complaints on, on how people didn't like uh, the, the, the functions of a uh, rear entry style binding, right? As they're always having to adjust and this and that. So. Uh, let me just clear up a couple of things here, and this is what this video is all about. Uh, basically, it's kind of a little fast intro. We're going to do kind of like a three-segment video on this. Uh, one is just kind of like the intro and the and the setting up and the adjustments of the binding itself. Next, we'll have it uh, what it feels like when it's on the board, and then uh, a third one this weekend, hopefully, uh, if the weather permitting, uh, we'll be out and riding around. So I'll kind of get uh, the first. Uh, impression feel of, of an all mountain uh, binding uh, simplicity and functionality uh, as well as the feedback and stuff like that so anyways since to I'm sorry since TS has been out like I said for over for 10 years um, the design has always been pretty much the same uh, and the functionality has hasn't changed very much uh, they do some refinements of, of the different materials that they've used here to actually cinch your boot down uh, that's just to give you different kind of feedback uh, rider feedback I guess you want to call it right um, so other than that uh, they're absolutely 100% safe for any kind of boots I am also using the K2 Riker BOA size 13 boots so um, yeah, big boots, big bindings. Um, that's one of the things I think a lot of people don't necessarily look into when they are purchasing or shopping out for bindings is getting the right size binding 
for your boot and or boot that you want it to be. So um, that's your first thing. You really got to make sure that you are absolutely, you know, buying the perfect combo setup. So from your board, your bindings, your boot, right? Um, I am running the uh, Ride 2019-2020 uh, Crook. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Crook. Crook board, which is a wide board at 159 centimeters in length. Um, at wide board because again I have size 13 feet so I do need something to help me with my toe overhang. Um, so anyways, what's really really cool about these, uh, not only is the padding on the inside and again a lot of this information is also out there but there are some information that's missing, uh, but the, the padding on the inside is at a three degree uh, angle on each binding to give you a more natural feeling of when you're actually in position on your board. So um, that alone is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, the rear entry is super, super simple and yet it's still kind of like a traditional binding. Um, if you want to unlatch your, your front, you can still kind of fold it down when you want to kind of create a little bit more storage space, right? So um, you can still go through your binding. Um, the straps, still have uh, the traditional uh, ratchet style strap on the one side and the adjuster cam on the other, right? That would be a cam, I guess. Um, what's really cool though, uh, with these bindings here, uh, this bottom strap here, uh, not only did you see it has a pivot, you can adjust the, the, the angle that it will attack onto your boot, uh, but you can also adjust the length through the cam on this side um, you can loosen it and then you can adjust that so it's very adaptable to all different kinds of boots Which is really really cool. So on that uh, one Huge feature that I really uh, was impressed on um, Is you know some of you guys out there like I've been riding uh, an overtoe front strap for the past You know 20 some odd years uh, Whereas some of you have now adapted to the in front of the toe strap Let's say like such as a as a bite uh, a Burton style binding this uh, actually accommodates for two style of, of uh, toe strap so you can either have the front which is what you can see here or um, even though it's solid see like this doesn't move that's what's really really nice right so compared to Burton bindings and then the other binding and stuff like that uh, that toe strap constantly flops down and flops up and it kind of goes all over the place right so when you're kind of getting yourself you know uh prepped and get your boot in and you're f and you're already fighting with uh strapping yourself down at the top of the uh the chairlift portion where people are trying to get going and getting in your way you really don't have much time to mess around so uh on on a burton binding or a traditional binding that has a front toe strap that are all floppy it's just it's a pain in the butt whereas this one it constantly it just stays stays right so uh your foot once you get your foot in it always stays in the exact same place there's no change that's so cool um, but like i said uh, you have the option to go with the toe binding so look at the angle here right so if i i press each strap down there's notches inside here that uh, allow the different angle to happen so if i press it down i can change my angle and bring it up i'll do it on this side here real quick press it down bring it up and there we go so now we've converted our toe front strap to a high front strap right so basically now it's going over the toe and not in front of the toe um, so and that also will just constantly stay when you do that however um, there will be uh, the requirement for you to loosen the front strap when you're taking your boot in and your boot out just kind of unlatch it by one or two notches that's where if you've read some of the forms or, or uh, listened to some of the people that did the complaints about these uh, binding saying oh even if it's a back entry I have to loosen it all up yes when you adjust that or change the angle of your front toe so if you leave it set up for an actual front toe system um, you can see when you're pivoting it um, it's changing the whole geometry of this uh, tree here right so it's basically pulling up the center portion forward and up and this one as well goes up so when you're doing that you're really releasing a lot of the pressure straight off of the boot, right? So again, I'm holding the binding in my hand and uh, I've got the boot in my other hand. So I'm going to basically put it in 
where it's going to be at its natural position. So you'll initially get yourself set up, right? So let me just cinch this all down. So there you go. So we're nice and tight, right? Yeah, we're good, right? So as you can see, there's no clearance in here. So the boot is actually on there. There's no uh, give on the back high, high back portion of it. Uh, it is fully adjustable here. So you can adjust that uh, for your angle, right? So how much angle you want onto your leg. Um, you get this adjusted here. So this is like super, super tight. The front portion is super, super tight, right? So it's, it's basically strapped on and it's good to go. So you're out riding around and stuff like that. You get down to the bottom. You're ready to go back up onto your, your chairlift. You basically release the back. You push the back down. Again, I'm not holding a board here, right? So it's a little bit complicated. And then basically you pull your boot out. Now that's a natural feeling for one when you want to put your boots into something. You always want to push forward and not kind of step up around and push back, right? I mean, that's already an awkward feeling to get your boot into a binding when the, the, the straps and the ratchet systems are all kind of flopping over and you're stepping on them and this and that and people are going by you and you're just trying to get ready. Whereas this, it stays exactly where it stays. It has not moved. Natural feeling. Put your boot inside, lift it up, watch this. Lock and load and ready to go. What? Yeah, exactly. That's why I ended up buying with these guys. I, I, I just really, I like the fact that it's just kind of in, lift, latch, go, right? Super, super smart. Um, now, when it comes to adjustability of your bindings up onto your board itself, a lot of people are like, yeah, but when it's a kind of like a rear entry, you can't adjust it, you have no fine tuning and stuff like that. Well, my friends, um, no, you do have lots of adjustability. So if you look on the back here where the high back is on each side, you can actually change the rotation or change the angle of your high back. So depending on how much degrees you're putting onto your bindings onto your board, you'll always be able to kind of adjust that, right? Uh, same thing when it comes to um, how much you want this to be angled out, right? So that is completely adjustable as well. You have the pad here. You can adjust how much you want your pad to come out. Again, I'm size 13. I kind of push it out a little bit forward because I like to make sure that, you know, the binding and the boot are, are well centered out. My front portion uh, for the toe strap is up in the front, so I never have to apply over that. The center portion is equaled out perfectly middle. It's got that nice little contour that kind of follows the flow of the boot. Uh, again, rubber, nice and solid system, just to get uh, some really wicked feedback onto your riding style. If you look on the underside of this, again, you can also check out the specs. You can check out the, the documentation and all the information on the K2's website and other videos uh, is what they call, refer to as a tri, uh, tripod mount or a tri-mount. Uh, basically, that is kind of the primary uh, <sighs> weight portions of your feet, right? So if you're standing, if you look at your foot and all that, uh, or, or if you look at the, the, the geometry of your foot, the, the main sections of your feet that is taking all the weight um, basically kind of follows along the, the path of this. So it just kind of helps uh, give better feedback and, and it's a dampening system which takes all, up a lot of the vibration and that's what I find uh, on another traditional style uh, binding is my feet ache and, and they get uh, yeah, tingly and they hurt after a while, right? It's not because I keep everything super tight because I don't, but it's just how the, the, the information from the ground, the snow, the terrain feeds, has, gives that feedback up through your board. So um, that is definitely a lot of the absorbing material. Um, this is all padded as well and then padded again on the inside. So, I mean, it's definitely like an all mount, uh, mountain riding style binding um, just for comfort and simplicity. And that's what it's all about. It's comfort and simplicity to get in and out and just get going and enjoying it. Um, I have been quoted from the K2 representatives um, that, you know, uh, yeah, you can do some park with it and stuff like that, and some jumps, but again, it's not a, it's not a professional style binding. It's not a, it's not an athletic binding um, 
for for extreme sports it is for what uh, you normally do here and here in Toronto region Ontario uh, our ski hills for the most part they're pretty much basic right there are some parks and we like to play in that um, but I mean I wouldn't uh, it's not like anything like at Whistler and whatever so uh, perfect board for that I absolutely love it uh, it does come with discs uh, it comes with the two different kinds of discs right so you get in total of four discs um, you get these ones here and yes as you can see they work both with channel style boards so they have the 2x4 and then the channel style board uh, the difference between the two discs here as these ones here you can see you're actually centered out right in the middle of the the board so you're basically putting your binding completely centered in the board which is okay for most people if you have standard foot sizing um, but then there are those um, such as myself have you know more of a oversized foot uh, so what tends to happen is you get to tend to have a lot of toe overhang toe overhang right so that uh, it completely sucks uh, with that so uh, k2 came out with a design instead of coming out with like a 4x4 where you know you got slots like that and then slots like that where that kind of you know creates a lot of weak points into your disc um, i mean they basically you know concentrate on keeping you know all the weight and 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 solidness from the disc so you're not creating any failures and having multiple holes this way and vertical and horizontal where they just basically made two discs uh, so you can either if you're doing it like this um, you can either have your foot further uh, your toes let's say further away from the edge and or if you rotate it and then put it back in this way then you'll have your toes closer to the edge so it really all depends on on the positioning that you want to put your binding to put your feet and centering yourself out on the board um, will defer what disc you do you use either that one or that one so um, that's really really cool comes with a hardware so you got basically your 2x4 uh, hardware here and then you got your channel hardware there as well uh, so like I said it does do it for both and that works for both discs as well you get a decal from K2 as well which is super cool uh, you do get a safety strap harness here for your binding um, personally myself I would say don't even include that don't even use that um, it does have a little plastic clip uh, which is kind of really chintzy um, I kind of wouldn't trust that I'd rather go with the traditional uh, style um, double clip double clamp um, safety strap if you want to call it so Anyways, K2 Cinch TS 2019 2020 model. This is the extra large. So, extra large will work uh, for your boots from, if I recall properly, uh, um, 11 to 15. Um, I'm running the K2 Riker size 13 Boa Lace boots. Um, and when it comes to fitment in that, um, as you can see, um, it's very, very simple, uh, very, very comfortable. Um, I was actually putting the boots on myself and kind of like walking into these uh, bindings while they were on the floor. Um, I was like really impressed on how easy um, they went in. But as you can see itself, uh, a size 13 boot is pretty much almost the same as, as the, the binding itself. So uh, it's not much of an overhang. It's really, really comfortable. So I'm really, really impressed with that. So. This is for you snowboarder guys out there. I mean, if you are looking for something and you kind of like unsure as to, to all the information that's provided to you out there, I would say totally give them a try. I mean, at the price, uh, Canadian here, they were like at 190 bucks. That's super, super cheap um, for a pair of bindings, really, honestly. Uh, you get a full year warranty on the bindings, full year warranty on, on the boots. Uh, other than that, this is not endorsed or sponsored by K2 or any of the companies out there. But if you do want me to review any of your products, Feel free to give me a shout. Uh, you can either comment message below or you can check out my channel and you'll have my contact information there. Um, I'm more than happy to check some stuff out for you guys. Um, bike season's coming on soon, so we got a couple of different things going on with that. Um, I have a whole 
rework that I need to do on the WR and then we got some accessories that we're doing on the MT-10 which however um, yeah it's gonna be posted for sale very soon so um, we're gonna sell out the MT-10 which is that 20, uh, 2018 which was the 10th anniversary edition there so it's the super sweet colors that you're not gonna get again um, and then we're gonna pick up a 2020 and we're gonna do some uh, special things to that I think so anyways Again, thank you very much for your feedback. Thank you very much for your support, your contributions, and your help, your comments. If you have any suggestions, do let me know. Uh, I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks down at the Toronto Motorcycle Show. Um, and for those of you uh, who hit the slopes during wintertime within the GTA region, um, this weekend, which is the long weekend for uh, February Valentine's weekend, uh, Monday um, is going to be, I can't remember the date. Anyways, whatever. Uh, we're going to be down at Lake Ridge, actually. Lake Ridge, Ski Lake Ridge. Um, just going to go and play in the park there and have some fun. Uh, at the same time, I'll kind of give the um, Cinch TS bindings a go and see uh, how they work out. And so we'll get some feedback on that. So till next time, be good, have fun, be safe. Take care. Peace. Thank you. Cheers. Oh. Don't forget, keep it covered. Yeah. Cover. Blip, blip, blip. <laughs>